Okay. Hey, how you doing? My name is Les Stark. I'm the author of Hempstone Heritage, a book about the history of the hemp industry in Pennsylvania. I'm going to demonstrate the hand breaking of hemp, and uh, this is the first time this has been done in Pennsylvania fields in many decades. Um, this is hemp. It's a little bit wet today, and today we're baling up our, our five-acre hemp field. You see the hemp bales in the background. Uh, I had intended to get some nice starts for uh, examples, uh, uh, but we got here a little late. It's already raked up, so we got a few of the broken stalks here we're going to demonstrate and uh, basically this is a bast fiber the fiber is on the outer bark of the stalk and uh, the trick is how do you get that fiber out of the stalk and this is what our ancestors used to do prior to taking it to the hemp mill they would uh, break the stalk and what you're witnessing here is the first first time stalk is a little tough. And as we do this, you can see the woody part of the stalk has fallen to the ground and you're left with fiber here. Let me break this a little more. See what we can do here. Stalk's actually a little tougher than I thought it would be. But uh it's very rough. But uh here you have basically see how we want to get this uh the herds out, the woody part, a little more. And this is extremely rough roughly broken. But you can see what we're left with is uh, the raw fiber. Imagine doing this all day. Said a person could get about 100 pounds of fiber in a day. This break was made by my cousin 20 years ago, back in 1998, for an event that we had. And, uh, but basically, here's what we have hemp fiber. In that five acre field we expect there's probably about two tons or two and a half tons of fiber. So now in the old days what they would do after they got in this state take it through a process called scutching where they would drape it over a board and take a wooden stick and get all the fibers that the herds out and then they would take it to the hemp mill where a large conical shaped stone would roll over top of this fiber to break apart into more firmly adhering bark get this stuff out of there and then they would clean it through the combs that we call heckles and then it was put in the spinning wheel and this is what our ancestors made clothing out of so check out my book Hempstone Heritage you can buy it on our website for Keystone Cannabis Coalition and also if you really want to follow what we're doing with the hemp industry check out our website and Facebook page for Pennsylvania Hemp Industry Council keep in touch we'll see you